Hello, my name is Jorge Jimenez. I'm from the Austin Police Department, and today I'm going to be reading you The Princess Who Never Laughed from Disney. This is an old book, so let's begin. The Princess Who Never Laughed. There is once a princess who never laughed. She never even smiled. The king brought clowns to the castle. One made funny faces at the princess. Another stood on his head. One tickled her nose with, with a feather. Still, the princess did not laugh. There was a castle. Near the castle lived a poor woman and her son. The son had his own way of doing things. If his mother told him to, watch, to wash the carrots, he scrubbed them with a washboard. He was such a funny fellow that the people called him Goofy. One day, Goofy's mother looked in the camp cup cupboard. There was barely any food for the mice. Goofy, said his mother, we have nothing but stale bread for, for supper. Go to the castle and ask for a job. Cheers, cheer up, mother, said Goofy. I'm on my way. When Goofy reached the castle, he saw the princess sitting on her window. Goofy smiled at her. But she did not smile at him. I wonder why the princess does not smile, thought Goofy. Goofy was so busy looking at her that he did not watch where he was going. He tripped on a large stone. His hands went one way, his feet went another way. Goofy landed on his nose with a thud. Now, now the princess saw the, this funny sight. Do you think she laughed? No, she did not even smile. At the Royal Chicken Coop, Goofy found a job. He gathered the royal eggs all day. When Goofy was working, he when Goof when Goofy was work when Goofy's work was done, the chicken keeper gave him some fresh eggs. Boy, oh boy, fresh eggs for supper. Away he ran to show them to his mother. But Goofy did not watch where he was going. He tripped again on the same stone. His feet went one way, his hands went the other way, the eggs flew into the air. Goofy scrambled to catch the eggs as soon as he caught them. Another slip off his hands. Crack, whack, splash. Now the princess saw Goofy juggling the eggs, and it was a funny sight. But do you think the princess laughed? No, she did not even smile. You silly, said Goofy's mother. When she heard what, what, hap what happened about, when she heard about the eggs breaking, she had put the eggs in, her, in a big hat. You could have brought them safely home. Cheer up, mother, said Goofy. I will, do, I will do that next time. The next day, Goofy worked in the royal dairy. All day, he milked the royal cows. When Goofy's work was done, the cow keeper gave him a pail of fresh milk. Wow, said Goofy, fresh milk. Away he ran to show to his mother. At the castle gate, Goofy remembered what his mother said. So he poured the milk into his big hat. Then Goofy put his hat back on. Swoosh, the milk splashed all over. Into his ears, down his chin, and even trickled under his collar. Now the princess was in her window, and she saw this funny mess. Do you think she laughed? No, the princess, no, the, not the princess. She did not even smile. You silly goose, said Goofy's mother when she heard about the milk. If you had carried the pail in your hands, you could have brought the milk safely home. Cheer up, mother, said Goofy. I will do that next time. The next day, Goofy worked at feeding the royal pigs. When his work was done, the pig keeper gave him a wiggly little piglet. A royal piglet, cried Goofy. He, could, he can hardly wait to show his mother. Remember what she said? He tried to carry the piglet in his hands. But the wiggly piglet was slippery. It wiggled off his Goofy's hands. The piglet went to, through a mud puddle. Goofy splashed through the mud too. The piglet ran to a haystack. Goofy went right in, right in after it. 
but the pilgrim was too fast for Gufi and got away. The princess looked out to her window. There stood Gufi, covered in mud and straw. Do you think she laughed? Not the princess. She did not even smile. That night, Gufi's mother met him at the door. Gufi told her how he had lost the piglet. Ninny, she said, have you, have you no sense at all? If you had held on into the rope, you could have pulled the piglet home behind you. Cheer up, mother, said Goofy. I will do that next time. The next day, Goofy found a job in the royal kitchen. All day, he washed the royal dishes. When the work was done, the cook gave Goofy a fine fish. When mother sees the fish, said Goofy, she won't be angry at me anymore. Then Goofy remembered what his mother had said. Carefully, he tied a rope around the fish. Away he went, pulling the fish behind him. When the royal cats smelled the fish, they all came running to get a bite. Goofy's fish was nothing but bones by the time he passed the princess. Do you think she laughed? Not the princess. She did not even smile. That night, Goofy's mother that night, Goofy told his mother how he had lost the fish. Then come poop, she cried. You should have carried the fish on your shoulder. Cheer up, mother, said Goofy. I promise to do that next time. Bright and early the next morning, Goofy went to the castle. This time, he found a job cleaning the royal barn. He worked hard all day. Goofy did such a fine job, the barnkeeper gave him a royal cow. This cow will make your mother rich, said Goofy. Then he remembered his mother's words. You should have carried the fish on your shoulder. Goofy put his hat on the cow's head. Next, he tied his coat around the cow's neck. Then he got down on his hands and knees and crawled under the cow. Goofy tried to stand up. This cow is heavy, he said. Goofy huffed and puffed. At last, Goofy stood up. Sure enough, the cow was on his shoulders. Now the princess was looking out her window. She saw Goofy coming up the road with his cow. And do you know what happened? She laughed. She laughed so hard her stomach hurt. She laughed so loud her ears ached. She laughed and laughed and laughed. The king could not believe his ears. If that fellow can make the princess laugh, he should be he should be here all the time, he cried. So the king called for Goofy. Will you come to live in the castle? he asked. Sure, I like that, said Goofy, if my mother can come too. The very next day, Goofy and his mother came to live in the castle, and there they lived happily ever after. The